Hello and welcome to our latest video of our series We Digitalize Our Production. In today's video we show you how we create an overview of our three production lines. How this works you see now. Once again, I've prepared the design for this visualization ahead of time, so I can start right off with setting up my list, into which we're going to enter the production data later on. I'll call it prod data and create a column called line, where we're going to enter the individual lines. The column target is going to contain the target value of the relevant line. Normally, we would calculate this number from the aggregate target values of the individual orders that are processed at each line. To keep things simple though, we're going to use static values. The OK and Not OK parts are going to be recorded in the OK and NOK columns. These will be counted using light barriers that will also be connected to the Peakboard Edge boxes. Peakboard Edge makes it especially easy to digitize data from an existing system. To do that, Peakboard Edge boxes can be installed and connected to a light barrier without the need to engage with the system, such as, for example, with the PLC. Now, in order to calculate the total number of parts produced per line, I'm going to create a data flow by making a new column that I'll use to return the total sum of OK and not OK parts. Now, I'm going to connect this data flow to a list view. Here, I can create a template that I'll use to display all the rows in my data flow slash my list. I'm going to get started by creating a rectangle into which I'm going to write the line name. Next, I'm going to make text boxes and write actually produced parts and target parts. In order to display our progress graphically, I'm going to make a linear gauge which I'll also connect to the values. Next, I'm going to create a circular gauge that I'll connect to the OK and not OK parts in order to show how many of the produced parts were OK and how many were not OK. Now, in order to determine the OK and not OK parts, I'll make an edge data source. Here, I'll connect an edge box for the OK and one for the NOK parts for each individual line. Then, I'll make a loop in the refreshed script of this edge data source that will check all of the lines to see if the OK value has changed, and if it has changed, whether it's now false again, so whether the light barrier was occupied and then freed up again. If that's the case, I'm going to add a part to the relevant row in the prod data list. Then, we just repeat the same process for the NOK parts. With that, we're finished with our visualization. What you can see now is an overview of our three production line. You see the OK and the not OK parts. Thanks for watching. In our next video, we show you how we create the quality check of our pellets. See you then.